Hello, buddy, and guess what? We're at our 17th tutorial. Almost at tutorial 8. And I hope these tutorials have been really helping you guys because I really enjoyed these and I really hope that you guys are putting them to use. So, now in this um, program, we're going to be learning about gravity. And gravity is very important in games. If you want your game, it's an important physic to have. Like, if you want your game to be realistic, then you're going to have to have gravity. And gravity can seem confusing. It can be like a confusing subject. You might not get it to move as smooth as you want. And maybe there's a better way for gravity. Like, there's, I think there's an equation for gravity. So maybe you could implement that into your game. But I'm going to be showing you an easier method for gravity. So... Um, to manipulate gravity in a game, I'm going to be showing you different ways to move your character. Okay, so you know how we basically did x plus equals 5 to move it and stuff? I'm showing you a different method. Okay, and I'm just showing you this as a platform game perspective. So, first we're going to make our x and y. So, I'm going to put x equals 10, y equals 10. And yes, th this way, you can do it this way. If you never learned in the basics, you can put a comma and then put it in this manner and we, we're gonna make two new variables that you never seen before velocity x and velocity y and I'm gonna make them both equal to zero and here's another way to do it so velocity x and velocity y are equal to zero so it's another neat way to do it so you remember in the basics when you learn about constants now if you didn't learn about constants in the beginner tutorial Constants are basically a constant value. You cannot change it. So you know how I made an int velocity x and I both equal them to zero. I can make velocity x equal to ten. With a constant, you can't do that. Um, hence the word constant. So basically, you put const int, and I'm gonna name it gravity. And yeah, you have to declare value for it on the spot. You can't put like whatever and then gravity equals whatever. You have to declare it on the spot. And the reason why I'm making the, gra the gravity constant is because of gravity doesn't change. If you jump in the air, the value of gravity doesn't change. The degree of gravity, it stays the same. That's why it's a constant value. So since it's constant, even if I put gravity is equal to 2, it wouldn't work. You get an error. Expression must be a modifiable value, and constants aren't a modifiable type. So now that I got these here, now let's go to our program. So, I remember our little um, square, we, red square we had in our early tutorials. Well, let's bring him back. So, he was missing us, so let's bring him back to life. So, um, there we go. And if you couldn't, if you need time to type it, then just pause the video and just continue it after. So we got our little friend back, our square. So now we're gonna put if key key right. No, actually, let's do this later. Right here, I'm gonna put velocity y plus equals gravity. And the reason why I do this is because I want it. To, you know how when we draw something it starts at the top left of the screen so since we're um everything below that <coughs> sorry in the y coordinate it if we if we want something to drop we have to add to it right because the things at the, the things at the bottom of the screen are the high numbers and things at the top of the screen are the lower numbers so if say our y value was 10 and we add 1 to it every single time then it would move down the screen and if you really don't know what I'm talking about then look I'm at my earlier tutorials so you got velocity y plus equals gravity then I'm gonna put x plus equals velocity x and x plus equals velocity y I mean y plus equals velocity y sorry and what this does is that um, whatever velocity x is that's the value you're gonna add to x so say velocity x is equal to 5, um, x is going to move 5 spaces to the right. Say velocity x is negative 5, then it'll move 
five spaces to the left. And for y, say velocity y is equal to negative 10, then your sprite will go up. If velocity y is equal to 10, then your sprite will move down. Right? So, you might find this a bit confusing. But, look here and I'll, it'll, seem, it'll make sense. So I'm going to put if key, key right. Now regularly, we'd put x plus equals 5. We're not doing that this time. We're going to put velocity x is equal to 5. So since velocity x is equal to 5, it goes here, it says x plus equals velocity x. So then x is going gonna, is gonna to be like x plus equals 5. So it's a different way of going about it. It's still x plus equals 5, but just a different way of going about it. So we're going to put else if if key key left velocity x now normally we put minus equals 5 we're not going to do that it's just equal to negative 5 so it says x plus equals negative 5 that's the same as equal um, as saying x minus equals 5 so this will move left right if we press left now if you notice, if we click right, if velocity x is going to be equal to 5. So, let me run this program and I'll, it's, it's, I'm just going to stay at 5. So, this is going to sound confusing when I explain it to you, so I'm going to show it to you. So, oh, sorry, my bad. You, you just seen the gravity working, right? So, let me comment out the gravity. And let it power. Okay, now right now I click right, and when I let go of right, I'm not pressing right right now. It's still moving, right? And then now I click left, and when I let go, it's still moving. You see why? Because in here, the velocity x is still equal to five, so it's still moving, right? When I click left, the velocity x stays at negative five, right? So what we need to do is have an else statement. So if they're not clicking right or left, then velocity x equals to zero, right? So if they're not pressing, if they're pressing right, then it always goes plus equals five. If they're pressing left, it moves to the left. If they're not pressing any of those buttons, then velocity x is equal to zero. So it will stop moving. So now for um, gravity. So what I explained this, what this does. So velocity y. Um, plus equals the gravity. So, when I right now velocity y is equal to zero, right? But it still adds um the gravity to it, right? Because zero plus one plus equals gravity, which is one is one. So it continues moving down one, and continues moving down the screen. That's why you saw it move down the screen before. So you want to make it a ground height. So let's make it that if y is greater than or equal to 460, then y equals 460. So if it goes, if it goes too far down, then it will stay at that level, and then 460 will be the ground height. So you could even make another variable called int ground height is equal to 460, and then you put if it's greater than or equal to to ground height then it's equal to ground height you could do it like that and then if you have platforms or something you can change the value of ground height so it would land on platforms and stuff and okay so right here we're gonna add a new function called for jumping so if they press key Z then velocity equals negative 10 and the reason why it's negative 10, hold on, let me just check my time. Okay, almost done. So the reason why it's negative 10 is because when you move up the screen, the values get smaller, right? So if I were to press Z, then, and we're on the ground, so ground height is equal to 460. If I press Z, then my Y coordinate would be 450. So it would move up the screen. And because Y plus equals velocity Y, Right? Since it's negative 10, it'll be the same as saying y minus equals velocity y. And because velocity y adds 1, because it adds 1 every single time because of gravity, then it will slowly come down because of gravity. 
and this may sound confusing but I'll show you the end result my time is almost up and you see it falling from the top of the screen and it lands down there and when I click Z it goes up and it comes down and I can move it in that direction and come back down now if I hold it super long it'll go up super high and then when I let go it'll drop well a way to fix that is if I go like here if we put Z and Y Y is greater than or equal to ground height then they can do it so if they're not on the ground then they can't jump so they can't like the jump won't work so we do it like that it's when it drops to the ground and we click jump it only can go a certain height you see so and it comes down automatically and that's how you do basic gravity in Allegro so hope this tutorial helped and I hope you're using your game so thanks for watching and bye